Hey team, Grant Hagen here with Drone Deploy, joined with Ben Stocker again with Skender. And we uh, often hear about how can drones get used in the pre-construction phase of the project. And we have a really cool example that Ben was going to walk us through of how Skender uses drones in the pre-construction phase, both from a really simple way of using the 2D information and then in a little bit more advanced way with the 3D reconstruction that Drone Deploy can put out. So Ben, really thankful that you joined in with us here. Let's get into some of those Thanks examples that you want to show us. Sure. So like Grant mentioned, a lot of times we always think of just using drones as for taking progress photos, progress models and maps, but the pre-con part of it is really important as well and can add a lot of benefit to your job. So starting here, we have an orth mosaic map that I flew with drone deploy. So we just have our 2D map here. And just to reiterate how easy this is too, I'm just going to switch over to my flight plan here. And you can see that I have a relatively large site here that I flew in just 18 minutes. Now, it's great to visualize this in Drone Deploy and look at it, but we can really elevate that by utilizing another workflow to bring it into other software as well to really enhance this logistics plan. So I'm going to switch over here to my logistics plan software. I'm using CM Builder in this example. And you can see that I brought in that orthomosaic map from Drone Deploy. So I just exported that orthomosaic from Drone Deploy, imported it into here into CM Builder, and then I have that as my base layer for my logistics plan. And just to show how much of a difference, how much of an impact this makes, I'm going to switch off my drone map here. And you can see how old and inaccurate the satellite imagery was at this location. I mean, there are a whole bunch of buildings here that, you know, got demoed in between when the satellite imagery was taken and when we were going to plan this job. So this just doesn't look good at all, honestly. So mm -hmm. having that drone or the mosaic map just really adds accuracy to your to your planning. Ben, I know that a lot of people do gravitate towards the satellite imagery, but again, just taking a, a 20 minute drone flight to get a accurate background, how helpful is that to really help communicate with other folks? I mean, it, it makes a it makes a huge difference. I mean, as you saw here, if you have this as your plan and you try to art, you're trying to tell people, okay, well, here's our plan, but just try to imagine there's a road going through here and you know there's a new road through here or like this area this building's not actually there it's just it's hard for someone to quickly visualize that and it just sounds confusing if you're trying to tell them what they don't see so being able to just look at this and have it be accurate instantly it's just it's a huge benefit right there ben i know some people can get updated satellite imagery as their background which is really great to bring into these tools but you're not just creating 2d maps when you go out and do some of these pre-construction efforts what are some of the other ways that drones are helping you in this pre-construction phase with other media types sure so i mean going back to our drone deploy media here you see we have our ortho mosaic that we already talked about but i also have photos from different perspectives around the job site I also took a video orbiting around the site as well. So like just going into one of these photos, this picture just adds a lot of context to your site as well. You can like our marketing department loved this and used it in the pitch deck for, for this job. Um, so you, it gives context of just instead of, you know, okay, here's our basic plot of land or whatever here, you can really see, all right, it's right along the river. It's about this far away from downtown Chicago. We got the nice skyline in the background. It is just having all the additional media can really add a lot more to your pre-con efforts. Yeah, and I think the thing to note here is that you know the 2D map is the most helpful when it comes to the logistical planning, seeing the current site in the context of what it is. But there's so many other media types that are really important here. We, we hear often in pre-con, visuals are vital, and that's just a really important thing that the aerial media that is being captured here is really important to bring into this process. Ben, a question I have too, you know, pre-construction as you're pursuing projects, it's really hard to kind of show differentiation with other companies and using some of these platforms. Tell me how this kind of process for you guys has helped kind of differentiated you when you're engaging and talking with, you know, the client for the project of you just having a really good understanding of their site. Yeah, it's actually, it's exactly as you just said, it's, it's showing the owner that we have a good understanding of the site and that we are prepared to do the job. So if you don't have these extra conditions here and you're just making a logistics, logistics plan off of a 2D drawing that maybe even has no satellite imagery at all, then sure, you show that you know how to plan the job, but there might be obstacles that you need to avoid that aren't shown on that drawing. You know, maybe there is a temporary road there or you know, something was changed on the site that isn't shown on an architect's 2D drawing. So having the accurate existing conditions here 
and then creating your logistics plan off of it just really shows that you're more prepared to work on that actual site. Yeah, well said. It, it's amazing once you start to see this information in 3D, even outside of 2D, what conversations are had and what new kind of parts of the project get you know brought to the surface of like, wow, we didn't see it or think about that because maybe we didn't have eyes on that area and it wasn't documented as well as it could have been. Ben, I know this is a little bit more of a basic example with just 2D information, but let's transition over to a 3D piece of information and really how you guys are leveraging the models that you can export out of Drone Deploy into a CM Builder as kind of your logistics planning. Sure. So here's another example job. And we have the 2D ortho mosaic map that which we saw before. But on this one, what really helps with this job is there is an existing building here that we had to demo before we started building our high rise. So I'm going to switch over to the model view here. So this model is created at the same time in drone deploy as your map. I mean, this took five minutes to fly. And then I get that map and the model here. So this is a photogrammetry model showing the existing conditions of the building that was there before we demoed it. So I just want to point out how easy it is. I was able to export the OBJ model from drone deploy and bring that over into CM builder here. And if I go back to the initial stage of the project here, you can now see these existing conditions of the model of the building with the earth mosaic map on the ground of the site. So that's just, like as we've been talking about, it's so much better to have the accurate conditions of your site rather than generic buildings like you can see here in the background or just an inaccurate satellite view of the site. So now I have this building here and then I can show that we have demoed it. And then here's what our site looks like after that. Mm. We have our fencing up and everything. And then I move on from there, get the tower crane up and then start to bring the building in. Ben, I'm curious when some of your stakeholders on the job are seeing this, either from the client's perspective or subcontractors that you're bringing on, like how are these visuals really helping them communicate really what they're trying to do on the project? I mean, having the accurate 3D visuals helps with that immensely. I mean, if you're just looking at a 2D drawing alone, sure, you can talk about the plans you need to make, the obstacles you need to avoid or whatnot, but it's so much better to visualize it with photorealistic models like this. So you can really understand, especially if you're trying to talk to someone who, you know, might not be as knowledgeable of construction logistics, showing it in 3d like this. And then especially once you get the actual logistics plan going with your fencing and lay down yard and all that stuff, it's so much easier to quickly visualize in 3d like this versus just a 2d plan. You just get a better it's a better idea of what's going on, it's more spatially aware of everything. And I know some people in kind of the pre-construction phase will model some of these existing buildings, right? And they'll get it to look realistic, but kind of tell us how long that process takes in, instead of just capturing it with a drone. Yeah, you can do, I mean, there are a lot of different ways you could do this. You could go and laser scan the building and then use a colorized point cloud or something, but that could take a long time too. There are some faster laser scanners or you could, you know, either in-house or outsource someone to create a model from scratch of existing buildings. But then how accurate is that going to be if you, you know, haven't measured it or anything? And using these photogrammetry models, it's pretty accurate and good to scale. Or like a lot of the times, you know, what we've done before this is you just use the model, the coordination model or the architect's design model that you have for the building. But a lot of times that's going to be just your new building and may not be the existing mm -hmm. one here. Mm -hmm. I, I personally don't know how old this building was, but I can almost guarantee you there is no existing 3D model of this building anywhere yeah. stored on anyone's computer. Yeah. And even just being able to help communicate some of the demo stuff, you know, you can see some of the rooftop units on here and really the condition of the site in, in a really helpful way to communicate some of that. So yeah, I, the, the traditional way of doing this isn't the most efficient. And I think when we talk about a five minute flight and, you know, a 20 to 30 minute processing of this to get into a model state, like that is really super efficient to really help enhance this process of what you're seeing here in the visual states. Really appreciate the time. This is really fun to go through. And we really hope that you guys kind of can see how drones can be used in the the pre-construction phase, either on a pre-bid to help you communicate some certain things or a post-bid of what you're seeing here with some of these examples to help communicate logistics after you've won a job. And so Ben, really appreciate the time. This is really exciting stuff. We appreciate you guys tuning in and we look forward to showing you some more examples here in the near future. Thanks.